In this video, I'm going to talk about the while loop and its syntax and how it works, and then talk about why you might use it versus a for loop. So, uh, let's create the uh, program here. Let's do a public class while demo one two three and class while demo, and then I'll create public static void main string args. All right. So um, a while loop syntax is pretty simple. So it looks like this while, and we're going to put a, a, a boolean condition just like in a for loop uh, that's either true or false. So while, and I'll just say num is less than less than ten, two, three, and while. You can always do that so I don't forget where that's at. Line things up. I'm going to print system dot out dot print print line. Have a nice day. Okay. Um, so looks like while the num value of num, which we actually never defined yet, while the number value of num is less than ten, while it's true, then I'll just continue this process. So let me make the value of num and give it a value so this thing can work. Int num equals let's say zero. So zero less than ten. That looks like a true statement. So this will run. So let's compile it. Close this guy up, let's run it and see what happens. So it looks like I have a nice day and I'm having a really nice day because it doesn't stop, which is probably a good thing, but uh, there's no condition here where this will, will, will stop it. And so this is called an infinite loop. It just loops infinitely. So if you ever have something like this happen, something's wrong with the loop. So let's investigate what the problem is. Let me reset the Java machine, go back in here. So we need to somehow change the value of num so it, it can actually become false. The statement can become false at some point. So I'll just do this, num plus plus. So I'll increment the value of num. And while I'm at it, I'll just do this. Num is, I'll print the value of num out so I can, I can actually see what's happening, which is a good debugging technique because uh, when you have loot, sometimes you have some issues. So if you ever run into problems, I'd actually just print the value out so you can check it. All right, let's compile it. Let's close it. And then the window is probably here. Let's close that window up a little bit. And then let's run the program. There you go. So it starts at 0 and goes all the way through 9 as we expected. When it got to 10, 10 is not less than 10. 10 is equal to 10. So it's a false statement and it didn't run the 10th time. You could always go in and change it to less than or equal to um, or whatnot. But in this case, that's how it works. So that's, that's the basic structure of a while loop. You have some variable that you're tracking. You test it in the loop. And if it's true, you just do it in the loop. So when would you use this versus a for loop? A for loop is good when you, you have a determinate number of times you want to do something. Now, here you can kind of argue there is a determinate number of times. You, you, you know you started 0. You know 10 is the, the ending point. So you this probably could be a for loop. But imagine this were not num. It were key press. And this was the uh, max y coordinate of the screen in a game or something like that or an app on your phone so if they're ke pressing a key we don't know how many times they're going to press it left or right and we don't know when they're going to get to the max y coordinate probably key press is greater than the max y coordinate we don't know when they're going to get to that y coordinate so they can press left and right left and right so this can run five times 20 times 30 times we don't know um, but when that key press does become greater than the max y coordinate off the screen uh, then we can, you know, maybe show uh, an error or something like that. But uh, so this is this is a, a more uh, uh, a better example of when you might use it because you don't know when this is occur. Versus a for loop, you have a determined number of times you're going to, to process something, like in the original example that we had. So that's the uh, those are the bare bones basics of a while loop and uh, why you might use it versus a for loop.